Welcome back. This time we continue our, our romp through the mysterious lonesome road on our way to uh, <laughs> on our way to encounter the equally mysterious Ulysses and find out how it is exactly that he knows us. So let's get in. Now, since the last time we've met, I've taken the liberty of uh, scrapping all that extra ammo we had, turning it into useful ammo for my primary weapons. Of course, it is now nighttime, or whatever <laughs> this this strange sky can be perceived as night. We're gonna take a little nap. It's time to get out of this collapsed tunnel where the tunnelers live. Ah, me. There you are. You went quiet for a time. Thought you might have returned to Vegas, its comforts. Maybe you took that machine with you. There's a lesson here in the divide. Old world history about holding on to something so tightly it breaks or falls apart. May have seen the cracks in Vegas' walls already. If so, they'll grow in time, no matter how much you back house. Now, don't, don't be too quick to discount Vegas. There's more strength there than it may seem. Your future with House has two roads. The road the tribals in Vegas want, their spirits crushed. Or your face on a robot servant, smiling forever in a dead casino. There's future in neither. I happen to know that House is not that not that you even need to know, but House's plans for the future run longer than that. Vegas is old world, filled with old world ghosts, and ghosts need the living to do their work. That's why the families are there, why the bear stumbles there to lose itself. It's a dance. I don't know its purpose. You've been. You've seen the wall. It's what's inside that worries me. Vegas is one of the safest places in the Mojave. In fact, that's that's what it is. That's what it is. It's about it. It gives me hope. You've been. You've seen the wall. Safe. No. What's inside? That's what worries me. Inside, old world's waking up. No facts or history I've heard tells me that city ever went to sleep. And that makes me think. The blue of the Mojave skies isn't like the rest of the world. Don't hear a guy or ticking there. More to fear from predators than rats. The city, the whole Mojave, wasn't hit by bombs. Been my call. Vegas would be one of the first pieces of the old world to burn. Someone protected it. Wasn't chance. Wasn't luck. Something larger. Yet they let the rest of the world suffer. And they'll do it again. Wait, are you saying... Hold on. Are you saying... That house has some part of the of the bombs. I don't. I'm not sure. I believe that. Though it is quite convenient. 
that the city of Vegas survived in the way that it did. But he also said they had a damn uh, anti missile laser grid, so. Uh, regardless, I'm siding with House, and I'm saying he's more pragmatic than you think he is. Believe that. Vegas runs. I've seen what it's done to those who oppose it, and I've seen its messengers. But everything in Vegas speaks of someone who can't let it go. House sticks a shovel to history's graves, props up the dead, and puts words in their mouths. The tribes don't even know how they were broken. Not a world I want to be a part of, going through motions until we're all smiling faces on some robot's screen. Listen, fella, you keep on saying this and that and this, people can't let it go. What do you want us to let go? The future? The past? Sure, you sure ain't doing neither. So, anyway, we're too far from Vegas to be arguing perspective on it, anyhow. Maybe that's why you chose Vegas. The lights can blind, make people forget themselves, their convictions, vows. Not going to waste time trying to make the blind see. Good chance coming here, same as I did. Now we'll see how it plays out. What were those creatures in the underpass? The tunnelers. Tunnelers. Predators that make their own roads beneath the ground here. Divide broke their sky, showed them the world above, and the scent of a new prey. Be a slower death for the Mojave than bombs and fire. But they'll come before its people, from where they least expect. Below. When you say slower death for the Mojave, you mean they're spreading out from the Divide? Death will come from below. In the Divide, need to watch the sky and the ground. Mojave will be easy prey for them. They'll start emerging throughout the Mojave in time. Might be years, probably less. They breed fast, hunting groups, more than enough to bring down the strongest in the Mojave once they draw blood. Seen them tear apart Deathclaws. Deathclaw might get some, but the rest will swarm it, tear it apart, like Denver hounds. Denver hounds? Now Denver is far to the east. That's Legion territory. Mojave and the Divide are the only places I've walked. Walked the east too, before the bull came. Then, much like Mojave before the bear. Tribes, towns, clutching to life. Bull did a better job. I found some recordings of you in Hopeville. The tapes. <laughs> Didn't think those would be found. You know the divide better than I thought. Had tech from the big empty. Recorder a woman gave me. Didn't survive the road on its last legs. Cast it and the tapes aside. Weren't worth the words anyway. Not like I'd forget what happened. If you heard them, nothing but ramblings, reminders for a man who doesn't need them. Probably more lying from here to the divide. Those marked men in Hopeville. Some had strange masks and blades I'd never seen before. They bear false versions of Legat the Muse's mask, the one Kaisar fashioned for him. Thought it was an insult at first. No better now. It's shaped from divide metal, 
not with care and strength, but with hate, keeps them anchored. Crude, effective, like the blades they carry, distant mirrors of their legate, a symbol they can hold on to, while the divide tears at them. Other mark men had NCR gear, and they weren't carrying masks or blades. For the two headed bear, NCR, they don't have symbols in the same way Legion does. They revere their mines and explosives, guns. That is their religion. They men from afar take pride in it. Hell yeah. Whatever they were carrying. They were fighting side by side with the ones in Legion armor. Pain makes for strange allies. The hate of the bear and bull shared across the battlefield. Now turned against the divide. Few survived. Intact. Many NCR were already here when the destruction happened. Keeping the route east open in fear of Kaisar. Fear of the Legion. saying this place was important to the Legion. The why of it, Hoover Dam. I see. The bear, NCR, couldn't be allowed to reach it easily. Long 15, Cayman, both bad enough. Kimbo, Kaiser, House. You'd think their whole world was that wall, cutting the Colorado. If I'd never laid eyes on it, Never spoke of it. But once found, it was all Kaisar could see. That, and the flag beyond it, another symbol, big enough to challenge him. And the divide, one of the roads to it. Legion was tasked with cutting that artery. If you can't kill the bear in one stroke, bleed it, starve it. That kind of murder is what any of the Legion would have done. Now, the Divide belongs to history. Oh, this is the High Road. Where does it lead? At the end of the High Road lies Ashton. It's Silo. That machine with you. It can open it, wake it up. Like it did the one in Hopeville. Now you speak with a lot of hate for the robot with me. I can hear it in your voice. Hate? No. There's nothing to hate in metal, steel, gold, or platinum. You're a machine. It's just a tool. Made of the wreckage of the Divide. All oh, that was brought here. Well, that's just what you think. Hey, maybe, maybe if you adopted some of these machines to be your little friends, you wouldn't be so pouty and cynical all the time. That's what I do. Now, when we first spoke in Hopeville, you mentioned you'd sworn not to kill me. Why is that? You know the why of it. If you don't, I do. And that's enough. Joe's trust only walks so far west. Earned more than that, though, getting this far. We walk the same road, carry the same colors. Can't break that by making the road red. Want more than that? Walk the divide. Answers will come. Closer you get to home. You and that machine. I don't recall ever being here before. At least not from this road. Many in the Mojave think the divide's nothing but canyon and storm. Wasn't always. There was life, a town, farther west. Not talking about an old world town like Hopeville. More recent. Something you saw in your lifetime. It had the name, the divide, too. But rather than cracks in the earth, it was a road from the west into the Mojave, a supply line. Took a courier to make that road. You. Back then, you 
sought alone, eyes facing east. This time, the divide's in the other direction. And if your eyes try to make sense of it when you reach it, home's not what it was. So you're saying I walk this road once from another direction? West to east? The home? a lot of hard roads, Mr. Mojave in before. That don't mean nothing. It means everything. Even if you deny it, cast it aside. That speaks to what you are. Proves what happened here. It was you walking that road that kept the divide alive. It grew from what you did. Settlers, camps, filling that old world city. Chance for a new mission, new beginning, new way of thinking. Could have breathed new life into the Mojave, bridging east, west, like Hoover Dam. But not old world. Something you made. Road was a supply line. Mister, why don't you just tell me what happened? So sour. And speaking, speaking of someone talking about thing old, uh, not being able to let go and all that, you seriously have attached yourself to something that I'm not sure you're even connected to. Frankly, again, yeah, maybe you should just tell me what happened. NCR saw the worth in that road you made. Staked a claim, whether it was wanted there or not. True elsewhere in the Mojave. And where the bear tries to cling to life, the Legion comes, airing messages. Some brought by blade, others by couriers. You knew what was coming, as sure as I know what's coming for you. This time you carry the burden. Walk west into the sun, and keep walking until it dies. There. I'll be waiting. Okay. Well, come on, Eddie. Enough yapping. How do you expect to kill me if you just stand there? Stand there or staring at Oh, it's probably staring about uh, staring about how cool I am. How badass I look. He saw the armor and he said, uh oh. He all scared up. Oh yeah, that's probably what happened. I 
probably has ding dang mouth agate. Saying, uh oh, oh my god, what am I gonna do? Now here I am looting this damn corpse. Many such cases. Damn. You weren't kidding, this place really tore up from the floor up. What we got here? Shoulder mounted machine gun. Well, damn, that seems pretty cool. I'm gonna have to test this sucker out. Yeah! Yeah, this doggone thing. First of all, I have to spruce up this helmet, man. to scrape up a save for, I guess. That's some good ammo right there. Uh, what else I need? 12 gauge. something I forgot about last time. Eddie here can serve as a dang old workbench. Ain't you? Ain't you, ain't you a little sport? <laughs> yes, yes, you are. Oh damn! I'm standing on them damn things. All right, we're good to go. Yeah, I'm thinking I like this thing. I'm thinking this thing's choice. That little fucker thought he thought he could. He couldn't though. these explosions, huh? Me too, buddy. Hey. If this was worth anything, I'd be staked. Never seen nothing like this. I 
Oh, what a little campsite. Precarious. I don't think I'd have made it. Like so. Ouch. Gotta remember these damn things blow up fast. Advance, Raggy. Poor fella. Now, did he make that little sign pointing up for him or for me? Death whisper. You know, the next character I make is definitely going to the tag lock picking. That or I'm gonna make some serious changes next playthrough. Oh, eat. Serious changes about how the leveling works. Especially for things like science and medicine and lock picking. Five seventy. It's all silent stuff already. Damn, this is a good find. I'll be keeping this bad boy. Keep this one on the side for me. Actually, you know what? Because you keep on getting controlled over by that dang old guy there. Not sure if I trust you here my good stuff, pity. Well, we don't have to earn that trust, because you ain't my Eddie. I know you ain't pretending to be, but Hell I get down from this place in the Ah, here we go. Yeah, I wonder if these arrows are for him or for me. Maybe for somebody else. Not for me. Yeah, God forbid somebody else gets tossed into this dang old enemy triangle we got here. E claw. Well. And like I never dealt with them before. Hey. Huh. Looking like one of their eating eating zones. They're breeding too. That could have been bad if I was a fucking <laughs> expert killer. Oh, hey. Hey. Try to load it up. Good thing these death claws saved up all that ammo for me. Oh, yeah, that ain't good. Uh-uh, that's gonna, that's gonna take some serious time to heal up right there. That's, that's some, that's some muscle torsion. Mm -mm. That's why you stretch. That's why you stretch.
That right there is why you pee after you ejaculate. You know what I'm saying? Did he get him? That bad sucker. All right, come on now. it that only just now I find my first bedroll ever. Hells bells, Eddie. Found something good for once. Let me see your uh take some ammo for me. That'll do real nice. All right. Where I put that there? Still overloaded as shit. Huh? Definitely put these damn conductors away. Don't need anywhere near that many. I am what you call considerably or as I was saying, considerably more locked and loaded than before. May the Lord have mercy on the next motherfucker who tries to get the jump on me. That Raul fellow was right though. All this sneaking around. Hell on my back. Man. These places weren't so chock full of ammo. I don't know how I'd survive. Sir, I think you're making a mistake. We're close to a breakthrough with the Duraframe iBots. I can feel it. <sighs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand that we need the Duraframe assets for Hellfire armor, but... <sighs> no, sir. Yes, sir. I understand, sir. I'll tell the team to start disassembling the ED series prototypes right away. Eddie, you little rascal. Were you eavesdropping again? I think those videos you watch are a bad influence on you. How much of that did you hear? Hmm. Didn't Dr. Grant say she'd upgraded your navigational systems? I think I have an idea. How'd you like to be just like Ralphie? Sounds like Dr. Whitley. It's a bit of a rogue element. Now, do you record everything set around you? I guess you do. Well, I'd better be careful what I say to you then, huh? No, Eddie, I do not want to hear your recordings of human mating calls. That's just wrong. That's just, there's just something wrong with that. 
All right, let's get going then. Dummy. Just staying around, we're even protecting nothing. Silly little fella. Got treasures there. Got something up here. Damn campsite. Clever. Hiding the smoke with the, the damn old cliffside there. I ain't never been that clever. Of course I will now. MRE. That's a damn landmine. Ain't no mystery in that. I ain't taking my chances. Yeah, I ain't too good at disarming these things, but generally see them pretty good. Now there's usually, they usually plant these mines in teams of three. I'm thinking we need one more. Ain't that a beauty of a fire truck right there? I ain't here to talk at a damn fire truck. Come on, Glenn. This damn head on. All right, that's the last one, I think. Yep, 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 yep. Four. Okay. Okay, so it could be five. Watch, watch your damn step, Eddie. Oh, wait. You must feel so lucky being able to fly and all that. Guess what you do is more like hover. Anti-grab or something like that. That symbol again. Usually leads to something good. Yeah. <laughs> Fucker out a damn chainsaw. Couldn't keep up with my DPS, so. Mm. Boy, take these parts off it. Or somewhere out here. Damn, they even eat like death claws. Thing old food just a mass in a pile.
Daddy, don't go off now. Got tangos and sense. Made me do. Thing old made me pure. Pure rabies. Poor sons of bitches. Oh, this one's upgraded. Not for damn sure gonna upgrade the big one. You tell me this dang old thing ain't repaired by a sniper rifle? Come on. Come on now. I'll take this bad boy any day of the week though. Oh then holy. Got ourselves a piece of the pie. Down that 308. And then nails too. Rockets. Might be the 13,000 lead. Might be the 13,000 fortune of the lead. You ready? I got you. Got you some lead. Some lead shoes you can have. Damn it. Put it off to the side for now. I'm gonna come back to it. Most well, certainly will not come back to it, but at least it makes me feel better to say it. Gotta have them beans. Just ain't no question of it. The beans around or mine? The bean master. just so much wish I could take it all on probably could on the trick all that which I don't so instead I'm just gonna toss some missiles in this box and away we go these mark men appear to be more animalistic than their counterparts maybe that's just what the life in the in the divide does to you make a note Eddie don't get trapped here uh, for longer than a week I'm saying otherwise mind could turn sour. Oh, look at that funny little hat.
I do not like that that is overlooking a damn missile silo. And you know, last time I pushed this button, it was doing something with a missile. No, Eddie, maybe we should turn back. What do you, what do you think? You're right. I'm a little pussy boy. Well. No guts, no glory. Ain't supposed to stare right into it. Good. You're back online. Listen to me, Eddie. If you stay here, they'll dismantle you for parts. You have to go now. I've uploaded destination coordinates for our outpost in Navarro into your system. I want you to go to the Enclave there, okay? Do you understand me? It's gonna be a long journey, my little friend. You'll have to fly very far. Fly very fast. Can you do that? I know you can. Be careful out there, Eddie. Maybe I'll see you again someday. So you're trying to get all the way to Navarro? Ain't that in NCR territory? How long ago was this? Hey that. So Whitley turned you loose all on your own. It must be mighty scary. What was that little move there? Strange little, strange little freaky robot. Sounds like it wasn't easy for him neither. I bet Whitley will be proud of you for making it this far already. Let's get going. It looks like the missile hit somewhere on the other side of the divide. You think you could reach the location of the blast from Hopeville? That is, if if and I feel brave enough to explore Ground Zero of a nuclear blast. Warriors mile. Yeah, pass. I'm gonna pass on that. No mind. Oh. Already here. What the hell? Well, let's get let out here. Yeah. Moldy. Come on now. Ow! Look! And the damn walls are climbing up the damn walls, Eddie. Ah. Fuck. 
he caught me off guard. Get him here. Oh, well. Why do we have to take a damn constantly exploding elevator? Hey, damn. Let's get out of here. Well, I was going to say, at least this place ain't exploding all the damn time. Maybe I was mistaken. Breathing mess on him. Okay. Uh, where are we here? Shit! Got a missile silo from the looks of it. Terminal. Ain't for me. Nice one, buddy. I'm set off some of the stuff. We sell just about all these now. Ain't much for jet. I'm gonna be honest. I'm sure ain't selling my beans. Be a cold day in hell. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, this auto dock still works. Oh yes, it does. Nice place. Sitting and rest, I think. Damn, Klaxon not was standing. Have me a little seat here. Give me a drink, some rest. Probably did do a lot of killing today. But now it is time that we depart. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. We'll continue down the lonesome road. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching with me. Uh, please like and subscribe and all that. Of course you don't have to, but if you don't, how will you know? How will you know what happens next? Bye-bye.